I feel fishy here. <laughs> for some strange reason. So you you got me to pick out another one of your paintings. It's, well, it's, I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you picked it. <laughs> no, I, I just showed you, and I, you I, picked I, it. I, I picked it, but it it it, it almost seemed um, I was saying almost at random. But I want I wanted to pick one of one of your your happy fish. Oh right, pictures. that's that is one. It's one what one of the happy fish pictures. You, yeah. But, it, it, but there's so many of them, and they they're, yeah. There's say, about a hundred fish painting. Yeah. At least. So so selecting this one, is one of them. Yeah. So I, I chose this one because there's various different nice. layers to it, and well, it's not a Photoshop file, but it has physical layers. Yeah, <laughs> it, well, physical layers in different media, and it's one of the it's one of these it's one of these paintings that I'm always thinking if I had it in my home, and people come round for for whatever reasons they come to my house, um, they come to see the painting. Well, I'd come see the painting and just strange food and you know these vegetarians alike, you know. Um, there's a lot to there's a lot to talk about in this. Well, there's a lot, they may there's get a lot offended to then. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully they will be offended a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, it's it's so easy nowadays to offend people. When I was oh, when, yeah. when I was young, you know, punk rock first came out. If you wanted to. You know, provoke some kind of reaction. You had to put safety pins through your nose and studs right. in your jacket and spit at people. Right. You know, nowadays you've got it's so easy to you know. Um. Anyway, look this. Oh, okay. Um. The, the fish are happy. Um, yeah. Well, obviously, you know. Um. And, and they all, they always are so happy. And They're behind behind it, there's another aspect of of your work which always intrigues me. Um, is is these women? Um, yeah. The the the, 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 the fish are happy, and there's so there's so much the, the characters of the of the fish. I mean, we even know you know which ones are of the, of the fish are likely to be uh, female. Oh yeah, that um, one has makeup on. Yes. <laughs> well, that was one of my uh, my artistic jokes that uh, that I took that. Uh, Personal, uh, like uh, person, like uh, approach to a fish. So that's uh, one of my comedic expressions in my entertainmental art or well, something. Well, I mean, At least I'm not going mental with. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe you are. I mean, Maybe I already it's am. It's so entertaining, and how? I mean, other people they react immediately to your happy fish. It's impossible for any. I don't know, provoking people. You can make them smile. Yeah. You just show them one of your happy fish oh, yeah. picture, and people just they get happy as well. It's, it's, yeah, it's, absolutely. It's, it's it's infectious. It's one of these crossover viruses that have jumped from this from one species to another. The happiness has come from the from the fish into yeah. in, into into people. But look, there's the other thing as well. In a lot of your other pictures, um, you're depicting women in a very very specific way, and it's it's. It's quite distinctive and it's quite odd. It, first of all, it's like this image here. Yeah. She doesn't come from 2021. She comes from maybe the 1980s, from 1980s America. The hairstyle and everything. It's 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 an unnatural look. It, it's old fashioned, if you like. But it's very very deliberate, and this is. See, this is the intriguing thing about the way women portray themselves and the way that, <laughs> as you've depicted them, it is so deliberate. Right. And, and precise and, 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 uh, and, and conscious. And um, it's like when, when people ask me to take their pictures, you know, qu quickly take a, a picture of them. Yeah. Um, especially women. They will adopt a certain kind of pose, and I'll say, "Don't do, don't do that. You're making yourself look silly." But to them, it's very deliberate. It's yeah. how they want. They, it's, there's some, there's something in the. Yeah, they always take uh, some sort of a standard, uh, really fake pose. Yes. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. But you see, to, to it's a problem. Oh, I, I, people, people like me. I, I get it. I think, think it's a problem because we don't depict ourselves in that way, but but they do, and it and it is. 
difficult to understand, it is mysterious. And you can't dismiss it as being stupid. <laughs> it's, it's, well, you're not doing, because you're, you're all the time, you're, you, you're making a reference to that kind of um, deliberate expression by women, how they depict themselves. Maybe. Which, which, is, which is kind of, for men, yes, we kind of like it, you know, she's pretty in her hair and all that, but we never okay. actually quite understand it. Well, and maybe we don't have to. Well, exactly, but, but the way you put it in so many of your pictures, again, it just poses that question, is this a great big thing that's all around us that we men don't quite understand is the way women portray themselves, the way they dress, the way they okay, maybe. Um, present, yeah, well, um, but it, it's, it's not a problem, it's not a problem, it's nice, it's, it's happy, and again with the happy fish. Um, we want to ask these fish, come on, tell us, what, what is it you are laughing about? Uh, and, yeah, and maybe, we, maybe that's the same idea they're laughing about, the same story <laughs> that uh, rolled out of you right now. Yeah. But we, we Maybe can't... Maybe uh, the fish is a portrait of you, actually. Well, <laughs> possibly, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> possibly. But we, we can't help but join in the smiling and join in the yeah. enjoyment of the mystery. And the I'm also hanging around. Yeah, there. I'm saying there's, there's, there's other, other characters I include a photograph of myself uh, in here. Looking puzzled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, with a uh, rocker's jacket that I made. Uh, I uh, screwed bolts into the jacket there. I ah. still have the jacket, but that picture is made in like uh, uh, 2007 or something ah. like that. It's a pretty old picture. Uh, but well, no, <clears throat> I've I, used it in, in that. I, I want to ask you something while well, yeah, I say, well, I've got this one out. And uh, I think it's, it goes the same with most of your other works, is that there's a happiness, a joyfulness comes out of them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like a lot of um, serious art from art establishment, which is aggressive, nasty, and thoroughly miserable. It's, it seems to be have the sole purpose of making me feel miserable, nope. guilty, and sorry. Oh, then, no thanks. No, well, <laughs> exactly. So, so I, I see. I thought, oh, I'd like to have that in my house. I, I'd cheer me up. I'd cheer well, up my yeah. guests. Well, um, it would entertain us, and you're not afraid of being. Uh, an artist who's an entertainer. Well, entertaining um, property is uh, like something that uh, should, I, I, in my mind, should be incorporated into uh, artwork, and that's what I do. So, look. and well, I like to, uh, I like find some uh, that uh, some things like uh, sexuality and uh, su subjects like those are suppressed, but I think those oh. uh, should actually be celebrated. Well, they should be celebrated. And I think certainly sexuality, um, it is an essential part of us. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, maybe in uh, our, 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 the, the world nowadays, our sex, sexuality has been minimised and made into a, a trivial thing or even a forbidden thing. But the spiritual, yeah. moral, beauty of our sexuality is something which seems to have been kicked out of art nowadays. Well, well maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, somehow. To, but, uh, to yeah, it's, it's, uh, maybe not so badly here as in, well, in, yeah. in Britain and America. But, but, but no, what I'm saying is, let me ask you something straight up. Yeah, go ahead. If I, or one of our dear viewers, want to own this, or one of your other works, yeah. On the website it says how we can get a print of it on a mug. But what, what if that's not good enough for me? What if I want to own the actual... The real painting. Before you get too famous and too expensive, how do I buy it? Well, uh, What's it going to cost me? You have to how do contact I, how do me. I get a hold of it? Uh, you have to contact me. Uh, and uh, talking to me is uh, how to get the physical original painting. And all the paintings are... Uh, priced the same, the original paintings that are phys in physical existence. Uh, and uh, I have a, a pricing system uh, by a square centimeter. So uh, height in centimeters right. by length in centimeters multiplied 
uh, by the price of one square centimeter uh, will uh, sum up uh, the painting and uh, the one square centimeter is uh, 32 euro cents. Ah, right. So uh, the, this is 70 centimeters high and uh, 100 centimeters long. 100 by 70 uh, multiplied multiplied with 0 0.32 equals uh, the price of this sized painting. Uh, so every painting is calculatable by measurement and square so centimeter. Seven, seven, roughly seven, 700 euros divided by roughly a third. So that's what, 230? Is that right? No. No? 2300? No, that's, uh, that's closer. That uh, 100 by 100 centimeter would be 3200 30, euros exactly. Yeah, square meter, exact square meter. And uh, exactly 10 by 10 centimeter would be 32 euros uh, by that formula. And uh, this is uh, 70 by uh, uh, 100 centimeters, so it is 70% of a square meters, one square meter. Right. So, so it's, uh, I don't remember, uh, but I can calculate. I don't remember the exact number on it, but it's so easy formula to calculate. Right, yes, yeah. Otherwise, before that, I was uh, pricing paintings by feeling. Mm. And uh, sometimes I, a week down the road, I forgot what I felt uh, last week. So uh, even my own head got uh, well, the, uh, messed up with that. The the uh, the last piece of art that I bought, which actually arrived through the post this morning, yeah, was from one of my favourite artists. She's not very well known at all. An English artist called Nandina Mason, and her style is very different to yours. But what is very similar? is it's art about the joy of being a human being. It, right. You, you know, you, you anyway, it, it's, she, um, she's come up with this idea of, uh, like, micro art. It's a painting literally about that big. Oh, nice. It is nice. And it, it enables focus on one small yeah. subject. But it overcomes the great, two great problems people have when they're considering buying a painting. First of all, it costs too much money. And even if I could afford it, I've got nowhere to put it. I haven't got any walls big enough. I only live in a small house. Okay. So the solution was was to make things that are really small, so no one's got an excuse anymore. You've only got yeah. a space that big. Yeah. But but um, it, it, no, it's reminiscent of um, uh, of your way of calculation of doing it by the square inch or by the square. Yeah, the square uh, inch uh, would be uh, also possible, but I haven't calculated it uh, in uh, imperial system. Well, I have uh, calculated in centimeters in, uh, is, in uh, metric it's, it's, system, but the same it's, formula it's, uh, would work in inches it's, it's, as well. But um, I haven't equivalent. No, well, no, it. it's, it's Estonia. This is yes. a province of the uh, yeah. Of but the fourth Reich. If so somebody it, it, from the United metric, States yeah. ask for it, then uh, then I I will make the calculation yeah. because well, even, I have imperial measurement well, tools as well. well. Even if it's in metric, you, yeah. Um, it's a diffi difficult language to use to call things by the square centimetre. More yes. colloquial people still talk about buying it by the square inch, even if it's actually precise, actually measured in centimetres. But uh, yeah, that's, um, but uh, to find the inch and foot equivalent, uh, that's a s simple matter of math. The, sa the math is pretty much the same. So, but the a area of a square, one square inch is. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many square centimeters it is. Quite a few. Um, well, I, th I, I don't know. I think um, I'll calculate that later. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, cert certain things like babies. Yeah. It seems always oh, seems wrong to me that the weight of a newborn baby could ever be in metric. That's that's just wrong. And. Uh, that should be a few pounds. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah. I think so, same. Art, yeah. art, 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 yeah. art can't yeah. be a metric, surely. Well, yeah, it rhymes with pounds. <laughs> yes. It takes some pounding to get a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think those, those happy... That goes to bloopers, I guess. Well, those happy but fish could infect a lot of people with happiness, I think. Yeah, 